This is the plaintiff, Patrick Mahaffey. He says he brought his car to the defendant's shop for a paint job, and his workers ruined the inside of his car. They got paint all over the place. They smoked in his car and burned a hole in his roof. The defendant should take responsibility for all his employees and the damages they caused. And he's here suing for the $2,000 it's going to cost him to get his car back into tip-top shape. This is the defendant, Edmundo. He says he was perplexed when he got served papers by the plaintiff suing him because he did the work on the car. The plaintiff paid him, took the car without saying a thing, and then two weeks later, the guy calls him complaining about a million different things. He does 25 cars per week. He doesn't mix paint inside the cars, and no one smoked because that would be a fire hazard. Bottom line, this guy's a little crazy, and he's trying to scam him. He's accused of being one sloppy painter. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock of the plaintiff who took his van to the defendant shop for a paint job says they messed it up All something rise. fierce, it's even smoked inside. Judge, but the defendant says, everybody. how can that be? The guy took the car and didn't say anything for over a week. It's the case of Hugh Stink. Thank you, Douglas. You Patrick you. McAfee. McAfee, yes, ma'am. Say it again. Mahaffey. Mahaffey, sorry, you bet you spent your whole That's life right. saying that. All right, Patrick Mahaffey, you are suing, uh, you want to be referred to only as Edmundo, you're the owner of the auto body shop? Yes. Okay, for $2,000, the estimates that you say it will cost in order to repair your car that you say that body shop damaged. Tell me what happened. I had the, I bought the car in January. Of what year? Uh, this year. Okay. Uh, it's really nice, a town and country, uh, limited edition extended cab, and uh, I realized it needed to be painted, and I didn't want it, the windows... So you decided to take it into him? Yes, ma'am. And what is it you hire him to do? Just do an exterior job for $1,000. All right, so go ahead. And uh, so on the first, uh, I was taking some medication in February, March, and April, so I wasn't able to go out and get in the sun or anything like that. Okay, so. I'm sorry. I have to ask you what the medication was and for what purpose was the medication? Right here. It's, Not the name of it, but what's the, what's the purpose of the medication? Uh, it was for the hepatitis virus. Does it do anything to your brain? Oh, no, no. Make no. you Matter groggy? Of, Does it make you tired? Does no, it, no. Okay, no. so you take it over to him what day? On the first, which was a Wednesday. Of what month? Uh, of March. Okay, and then you agree with him he's gonna paint your car for $1,000, and yes. what happens? Okay, what happened is a paint job, I went back in, he slid the key to me. He didn't say like, I'm sorry, we're a couple days late, you know, or nothing, didn't talk to me at all. He slid the key to me, and so I went out to my van, and when I put the key in and turned it on to see if the lights and blinkers so I wouldn't get a ticket, the first thing I hear is some Spanish music. Now, I like La Bamba and, you know, a few things. But what La I'm getting Bamba. at is I listen Why don't to... you join me 50 <laughs> years later, man? <laughs> right, right. All right. Well, okay, slow. so somebody was listening to the radio in your car, yeah. They had the radio station. I or didn't, had put the I radio on. I didn't really on. mind that. And I looked, then the gas gauge registered. And when I left it there, uh, the mileage was 119,777. It just rolled over. It was there. I knew it would be, you know, hopefully. But there was, the gas was down. I have one needle under half. Okay, so somebody's been turning your car on in order to listen to your radio. What <laughs> no, else, baby no, bear? Who else no, has been sleeping not in the, your bed? not the radio, the air conditioning. There was an eighth of a tank of gas gone Okay. when I realized it. So okay. I said, no problem, right. You know, gas, radio, no problem. So I drive home. I, I was the end of the day, 5 o'clock around there. I go in the house. I'm just glad to get my van back. It's been nine days. Saturday I went out. And I open the hatch, the hatch door, the first thing I see is uh, on the sides, because, you know, you look down, I saw the rubber piece on the bottom first. You look on the right, there is uh, gouges in the hard plastic. And then I look at the ceiling, uh, the, the headliner, and these are pictures of the headliner. Uh, you can see the scrapes and the indentation. It would have been okay if it would have just been a scrape mark. You can see one scrape mark, and you can tell the difference on the indentation marks. And, and that's Sir, a what are you saying? How long it has does it to take be you replaced. to say, hey, you guys damaged my car inside? When did you go back to them and tell them that? Well, it was a Sunday, so I was 
I was burning, man. I was so hot because this van was so mint condition. So when do you bring it up to them? <laughs> I uh, I thought, what am I going to do? The weather's nasty. It, you know, it rained and then it got a couple days. It was cold. So I pass that week and I go, how am I going to handle this? And I always hear, we'll make a report out. So I call a police officer. Uh, how long after you picked up the car did you call them and say, hey, we have some problems? It was, well, I made the police report first. You and made then, a police uh, report before calling him and saying, hey, you guys made a mess in my car? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds reasonable to you. Well, I knew he was good. They were going to deny it, you know. Well, Especially was, after a week or so, and something had passed, Well, right? let me give you, for instance, he said that they were... Right? Uh, what's Especially that? after a week and something had passed. Oh, it's true. It's true. I, I knew the time goes by, they're going to go. I had two more months of medication to go. And then I figured after that, I called one of his buddies, Sean. I don't know who he is to him. Uh, one of his managers I was telling him about. It. I says, I can't get back over there till the first part of uh, April, May because I'll be through with this medication and I... Why does the medication have anything to do with getting the car over there? Getting out in the sun and because at the end, okay. I can't get out in the... I got out in it once, it's a headache and it's just, it's, you can't do that. You know, it's $1,000 a pill, $28,000. No, I understand, but when you say getting out in the sun, I realize you're from Sarasota, I'm from Florida too, right. but you know, you could wear a hat, long sleeves and do what other well, people do. Well, I did And have. I imagine, what'd you do for three months? Just hermit in your house? I mean, I imagine I you I basically went... stayed in my room okay. if I had to All go right, to so the... can I just ever get an answer to the question yes. when do you let that, you let like a friend, who's, who did you let know? Sean, it who's was. Who's Sean to you, please? He's a supervisor. I'm okay, Sean. so Sean tells you we got, uh, there's someone complaining, when? When does he tell you that? about a week after. A week after, a week he says, listen, by. there's a complaint, but he can't bring the car in because he can't go out in the sun. Mm -hmm. And Correct. so then what do you say when Sean tells you that? Well, he might have told him, bring it in when you get a chance and we'll okay. go over the Okay, and so issues. does he ever bring the car in? He does. He does. And what is it you see? Do you see the things he's talking about? Can you please hand the pictures to my bailiff? Do you the, see the things he's talking about? Like, what's the deal? The, I do see some things that he's talking about. Um, he does claim the car's mint condition, but he does have a tear on the driver front seat that's duct taped. And he's, yeah. he also claims that we rolled the duct tape back from getting in and out of the car. It was dog. Um, no, no, it, I need I'm you sorry. to not talk yeah, now. Go ahead. Uh, the headliner is coming down on the rear from weather. You know, it's just old. It's getting old. And it's, and well, it's how old is the car? It's 10 years old. Go it's ahead. Just it's got a yes, 07 with 100,000 miles on it. And uh, so, yeah, we tell him to come in. He brings it in. He's just, he's got a list. And uh, he starts going over the list. And some of the claims are just, I mean, I, 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 I just told him I'll see you in court because I just couldn't. Such as what? Uh, there's, he was mentioning a grape stain that we mixed paint inside his car. Why would you guys mix paint inside his car? It's a picture there. I'm there's sorry. there's it's no reason. The Why would I believe that that happened from them mixing paint inside the car as opposed to that you, who apparently are not that observant, it's their since color. it took you a week to come up with this list of complaints? No, two days. And then who is this? I have a, a statement that's handwritten by somebody from AutoZone. No, oh no, that's someone I showed the van to when I bought it. Is he a it. friend of yours? No. Why were you showing him the van? Because I was proud of it. I showed it to several people. Okay. okay. Well, that friend wrote out a very lengthy thing yeah. saying that what he thinks happened is that your guys were taking their brakes inside his car, right? That they're sleeping inside his car, they're no. taking their brakes inside his car, mm -hmm. they're mixing paint inside his car. What have you got in the baggie? This, there's a picture of it there. After two months. They left months, their cigarettes inside his car. What's that about? You don't smoke? No, not in that car. <laughs> what do you smoke when you do smoke? These are not these. What it, do you smoke have, when you do smoke? I smoke Marlboro Regular Light. And what are those? These are special blend. To listen to this. You got I any asked friends? Him, huh? You got any friends? No, these were no above. Friends? These were above. Nobody's the, ever in your van? Nobody except my mother has been in that van. What's your mother smoke? She does smoke. So when you take your car to the shop, do you think they routinely like drive it around or smoke inside? No. Oh, so you have a lot of faith in that. I don't know. Okay. Um, work with me here. Okay. There is no point. What's the incentive for the, the dealership to, 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 I can't even talk. Okay. Struggling down here, going inside the courtroom. Do you ever talk to him yourself or no? No, I, when he brought the vehicle in, I did oh, right, inspect right. it with him. And then was there anything that he pointed out that you felt had a legitimate, you know, that maybe 
overspray or something. So, I know the overspray you took care of that day, Correct. but something that would be related to the paint job? I don't believe so. Uh, it was a little overwhelming. So that so um, the radio's on on a Spanish station. Are your guys Spanish? I have some Spanish employees, yes. Okay. So do they turn the radio on when they're working on the car? No, no, they don't. I mean, they, they, do we do wipe it down and they maybe it might have hit the channel on it? Oh, don't be ridiculous. But you don't it, accidentally hit it on the Spanish station. What do you think I was born yesterday? <laughs> it's That's a, a choice. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. So when are they listening to the radio? Maybe when they're taping the vehicle off. Okay, well, they shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. All right? Correct. No, I understand. Yeah, it's tell, tell them not to do that. No, I, I do. It, yeah. um, Mr. Mahaffey, yes. what we have here is what we call in the law a proof problem. And the proof problem arises when the best you can do is say, there's things wrong with my car, must have been them. Um, and that happens not when you're picking up the car and say, wait a minute, right. this wasn't here, that grape stain wasn't here, that header wasn't falling on my 10-year-old car. This, blah, blah, blah. That's not what you do. You take it home and it's perfectly fine, everything's great, the transaction's over, and it's not until a week later that, and then many months later when you bring it by, but not until a week later that it, it first occurs to you to say something. And you can blame the medication all you want, you can blame the oh. sun, the sunshine in Florida all you want, you can blame whatever you want, but at the end of the day, if, if you didn't even notice it, how could it possibly, how are you possibly proving it's their fault? Because if you look at Because if you didn't notice pictures, it to complain about it, you didn't notice it when you bought it. You get I, it? Mr. Mahaffey, you have no proof, and my verdict in this case is for the defendant. Yeah, I knew that was going to be rough. Well, Mr. Mahaffey, you tried. You sued for $2,000. You didn't get anything. What do you think? He's a liar. <laughs> You know, what could I say? Uh, I didn't notice it. You, you know, you just, didn't have, you just didn't have the ammunition to prove your case. And you it's waited true. too long. I waited too long. Waited too I long. knew that was the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I knew that was the difference. But uh, but I took the pictures of what wasn't there before it happened. Yeah, well, so. you waited too long, and I cooked your goose, and I'm I sorry. Know. I, okay. yeah, I, I know. You know I it? You know it? You know it? Okay, sorry about that. Thank you. Here comes Edmundo, the painter, or the owner of the painter's yeah. shop. Do you get sued very often like Not this? Not really. It's really? Once in a lifetime. The guys do listen to the radio occasionally. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure. Okay. I'm right. sure. Congratulations. Thank All you. Right. Thank you very okay. much. Harvey, what do you think? Okay, short and sweet, Doug. Uh, the longer you wait to complain, the more you compromise your case.